Now, our guest this morning says, quote, Obama has lost his way on jobs, but he has choice words for how job policy is being handled on both sides of the aisle. Jeffrey Sachs has served as an economic advisor to world leaders, taught at Harvard for many years, now a professor at Columbia. Professor Sachs, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. So the Obama administration has it wrong and the Republicans have it wrong, correct? Well, I was uh, glad to see that there will be a job summit at the White House next month to try to improve the, the policy situation. I think they know uh, we're in for a very slow recovery at best on the current scenario for unemployment. Everybody's predicting that even if the growth continues, the unemployment rate's going to remain much too high for comfort for our society. So we have to do something different. What? differently do we have to do? I read your op-ed in the FT in which you talk about a three-part long-term solution. You talk about a lower dollar. We're seeing some of that. Yeah, that that's it, happening. But I also talk about export promotion as an act of which policy isn't as happening. part of that. Yes. Uh, massive expansion of education spending and job training and also to spur an investment boom in areas of high social return. But, Professor, this some of this is going to require spending, correct? I, I think uh, a lot of it uh, would require spending, but not the kind of spending that we're doing right now. But can we afford to spend even more than we've already spent? I mean, look at the size of the federal debt that we're, we've created and we continue to create. I don't think we can afford to do things like cash for clunkers or... Uh, Not short-term spurts uh, here. This, this very short-term consumer spending is if the only way our economy can recover is to recreate the old bubble. I think we have to invest in skills. You look at the unemployment rate among lower-skilled workers, that's 15, 16 percent, not even counting the discouraged workers and the underemployment. So we have a massive crisis of underinvestment in basic skills and education in this country that's gone on for a very long time. Also, what I'm saying is even aside from spending, we're blocked in right now on regulatory uh, policy on energy, for example.